So we have all these, um, some of, of them are pioneering, pioneering technologies, some of them are well-established uh, techniques to monitor uh, virus functions in the human body. And uh, the data that we collect, they go to this, if you like, machine learning intelligence. Now, what does that intelligence allow to do today that was not possible yesterday? Like, what is the benefit uh, that usually it's brought about by machine learning? What, what is the one thing that you would say today is better than yesterday when, when we look at processing that data? So what I can say, if you say just uh, there is not a unique word to say that, but if I have to say just one word, I can say independent diagnostics. The independent diagnostics and independent uh, like healthcare, that's one of the important that can, and can bring a lot of benefit uh, with it. And is that, you know, the, when, the when the device can independently be able to measure the, the data, process the data, and make a decision based on the data that has been collected and processed, that has a lot of value, and that saves a lot of money, time, and actually uh, uh, a lot of, it can fix a lot of issues that are uh, actually we are facing, the, the healthcare is facing today. So for example, even for, for, in, for implantable devices that you mentioned uh, specifically, so what happens today is the, 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 the implantable devices for monitoring collect the data and those data are stored in the, in the device and those data has to be transferred to the, to the physician or healthcare uh, uh, center to be processed later. And even with having that device implanted in the body, still there are a lot of a force, a lot of other process that has to be done by other people. And that's make it difficult and make it time consuming and actually actually brings a lot of cost for both the patient and the healthcare system. But if you can imagine, if you have the implantable devices actually occupied and uh, with built-in artificial intelligence inside it, that implantable devices can act as independent diagnoser for us, can act as an independent device that can do everything for us without the help of any other person or without actually uh, uh, doing any other extra process. So the, the, that, that, in, that artificial intelligent based implantable device can collect the information, can do the diagnostic in a point of care without any other effort and extra, and can actually even do the treatment in, 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 in the same place. So because right now, what the, the using the artificial in intelligence we can have also that we didn't have before is ha helping to have a play a kind of device that can both do the diagnostics and also the the treatment using the same device using the same place that that's something that actually one of the also the, the new benefits of using this artificial intelligence that has actually without that we haven't been able to to realize using the previous and, and uh, conventional technologies and devices that we had before.